Does the social distancing have you down? Well, now's the time for some self-care. I'll show you how to make a fun, bright, and nutritious smoothie starting now. This recipe is inspired by Animal Crossing, and each layer is to represent an island horizon. For the full recipe and more, visit the link in the description. To begin, I kept three tall glasses in the refrigerator to chill. I then gathered all my ingredients and dived into the first layer. Pun intended. You see, this layer represents the deep, dark ocean. To your favorite blending vessel, add in blackberries or blueberries, four pitted plums, some frozen strawberries, and about one teaspoon of almond milk. Blend until well smooth. Pour evenly into the three chilled glasses and then place the glasses back in the fridge. For the next four layers, I will work in pairs. To your blending vessel of choice, add in slivered almonds, half a banana, chia seeds, peanut butter, and a small trickle of almond milk. Blend until smooth. Place this layer in a bowl and then set aside. Rinse your blending vessel, Add in the other half of the banana, spinach, a couple chunks of pineapple, and a trickle of almond milk. Blend again. Layer the peanut butter banana layer carefully with a spoon. Next, layer in the green spinach mixture and then place your cups back in the fridge. These two layers represent the sandy, earthy ground and the bright green flora. Now we're down to the final two layers of our only slightly complicated smoothie. After a rinse, add strawberries and the juice of one orange. Blend, place in a bowl, and you guessed it, time for another rinse. Next, add the juice of an orange, frozen pineapple, and a whole banana, before blending into a velvety, delicious puree. Take the smoothies back out of the fridge and then add in a small amount of the strawberry mixture. Place the pineapple banana goo over the top, and then using a skewer or straw, carefully blend some of the strawberry layer into the pineapple layer. Top with a little more banana pineapple. These final two layers represent a sunrise or sunset on the horizon of your island. But we're not done just yet. I have a little DIY project before we can finish. Trace circles that are approximately 5 inches wide onto some thick construction paper, and then cut the circles out as best you can. Mark a dot in the center, and then using a sharp pencil, pierce a hole in the middle. Use a pair of scissors and then cut from the edge to the middle where the hole is. Using this newly cut section, overlap the edges to make a cone, and then tape or glue your cone together. Next, slide the cone over a paper straw and then use a small amount of glue or a piece of tape to hold it in place. Place the cone as high up the straw as you can without going too high so that you can no longer drink from it. Garnish with a slice of orange, a sprig of mint, and our crafty DIY umbrellas. Your Island Horizon smoothie is here. If you're new to the Veggie Nerd, my name is Eric, I'm a culinary graduate and I make vegan, gluten-free, and other diet-restricted videos. If you'd like to empower your self-care through food, make sure to subscribe so you're not missing out. Our cooking adventures don't have to stop here. If you'd like to check out how I made some applesauce intended for reusable food pouches, click the video on the screen now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, I hope you're out there enjoying Animal Crossing. Make sure to take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.